everybody. Welcome to our channel, J&J &J House Call, the midweek check-in. My name is Dr. John Lucy. I practice integrative medicine and pain management in Jefferson City, Missouri, and this is my wife. Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Sue. I practice conventional gynecology and integrative medicine. Welcome back to our channel. This is your midweek check-in. We hope you've enjoyed the diet series. We're going to summarize the whole diet series we've done for the last several weeks into this coming Sunday's video. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit the notification bell so you know when we've uploaded our next video. Today's topic is about pets, and we're talking about home pets that we have at home. There's lots of different ones, and actually we're talking about any kind. They can be, um, they can be, you know, we're all thinking dogs, cats, but they can be horses, animals, and fish, right. There's been an increased number of adoptions of both dogs and cats since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. And in doing research about different pets, you know, I kind of heard about that, but it's really true. Most of the time when there are shelters with all these cats that aren't adopted, they're all of a sudden being adopted because people are staying at home and they're finding comfort in having a companion. You had mentioned something which is really interesting about before we get into this, like which pet is best, just don't go out and just get one because he said it is quite expensive to own a pet. Yeah, people get the pets and they soon discover they gotta actually feed them and walk them and take care of them. And then when you go back to work, you don't have that free time that you, you had previously. So before, as I guess, uh, to be responsible to your future pet is to kind of take an assessment of whether you can financially afford to have a pet. It includes vet visits, vet vaccinations, food, grooming, proper walking, like you said, to have time to take care of the pet. As you know, you've always heard having a pet does help you live longer. So which pet exactly is the best? And in our research, it wasn't too easy to find. So I got a lot of this information from this Harvard article of the research from 2014, as well as from an author, Sydney Stevens, and another author, Nicole Fisher. We found that the two most common pets that people have are both dogs and cats. And at the very end, you're gonna find out which one of those two wins. Basically, having a pet in terms of helping your health depends on how you interact with the pet. Whenever we interact with our pets, they do help with decreasing anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and also kids with sensory issues. So this brings involved in the, the feeling of touch of an animal and stroking and petting an animal. Also, in terms of socialization, people that do own pets tend to be more sociable because they're having to get out and walk the dog, or they're also talking to pets too, so they don't feel as lonely. Alone is one of your pillars of health is socialization. Another issue that happens when you have pets is that they do boost the immune system, as well as if it's in the first part of your life, within the first year of your life, if you're exposed, you have less allergies which I thought was very, very interesting. That's a good idea. There's also less anger as well. So if we break it down to basically between dogs and cats, which one wins? We have both. So cats do decrease your risk of stroke, but dogs in the end win because a Harvard study in 2014 actually found in their research that dogs are better for us for our health. But the Harvard study in 2014 was also wondering if basically dogs do help our health because basically healthier people are able to own dogs. So they're not quite sure if the effect is really from owning the dog or if it's just that healthier people in general mm -hmm. get a dog because they're able to. So the summary is if you decide to get a pet, a pet will help, but it depends on how you interact with that pet. And before you do, be responsible. Realize that once this coronavirus pandemic is over, will you have the time, like you said, to walk the dog and to interact with the dog? They need just as much socialization as we do. And financially, make sure that you can afford everything that they need to have a healthy life. Well, that's it for today. You guys, thank you for joining us. And join us for next week's topic on the wrap-up of the uh, diets. So long, everybody.